This is not science fiction. This is not a demo reel. This is deployment. Boston Dynamics just announced its next generation humanoid robot Atlas is ready for full scale production, not prototypes, not pilots, production. Tens of thousands of units and every single one scheduled for this year is already spoken for. The question is not whether the machines are coming. The question is whether anyone is paying attention. Now, here's what was quietly announced while the world was distracted. Boston Dynamics will produce 30,000 Atlas units this year alone. All deployments for 2026 are already confirmed. The robots are heading to Hyundai Motor Group factories and, and Google DeepMind facilities. This version of Atlas is nothing like the clunky prototype you saw years ago. It's fully electric, nearly six feet tall, 200 pounds, dozens of degrees of freedom, four-hour self-swapping batteries for continuous operation. And here's the part that should make you pause. Atlas no longer relies primarily on human-written scripts. Google's DeepMind team has integrated its Gemini multimodal AI directly into the platform. That's right. Skynet has become self-aware. That means vision, language comprehension, spatial reasoning, and adaptive learning all built into a physical humanoid body. The machines are not just stronger. They're getting smarter. And when machines start replacing human workers on factory floors, you have to wonder what the future holds for your family. In an uncertain time, self-reliance is everything. If the power went out tonight, stores were empty tomorrow, would you be ready? You see, most people are not. That's why I recommend My Patriot Supply. Right now, save $100 on a three-month emergency food kit while supplies last. Over 2,000 calories a day for 90 days. Real meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks last up to 25 years. Made in the USA. Robots cannot replace your responsibility to your family. Go to preparewithgary.com, get prepared, and get peace of mind. See, the corporate press is happily playing music and showing robots doing backflips. But consider the trajectory. These machines are being introduced into automotive factories first. Repetitive labor, logistics, assembly, transport. The justification is efficiency. But once they prove reliable in factories, there's no reason to believe they will stay there. Warehouses could be next, and then infrastructure, then who knows? One tech commentator said it plainly, everyone else is playing catch-up. See, Boston Dynamics is not experimenting anymore. They're executing. And the implications, wherever they turn out to be, deserve some serious attention. Now let's take a look at this Atlas robot. This is the brand new Atlas robots from Boston Dynamics. This is 60 minutes overtime. Uh, here's, okay, here's, let's take a look at this one before we go to 60 minutes. Yeah, these are our new slaves. What color of robot will be most popular? Don't answer that. Yeah, don't answer that. That's crazy. So it'll totally listen to you and do whatever you want. This is great, man. Uh, these are our new slaves. McCullough. Let's take a look at the 60 minutes overtime piece. Don't limit yourself to things. The neat thing that this new robot can do that I have not seen before is all of its joints can rotate a full 360 degrees. Well, that's beyond what you and I can do. And we think that's the way you should build robots. Don't limit yourself to what people can do, but actually go beyond. We went to the headquarters in Waltham, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. It's a huge facility. 60 Minutes went to Boston Dynamics back in 2021 and saw an earlier version of Atlas, and it was bulkier and didn't move quite as seamlessly as the one we saw. We saw Atlas running. He can do the Macarena. He could do cartwheels. He could dance. I mean, they've made tremendous progress. Here we go. I mean, for us to turn around, we have to physically turn around. I have to turn around and look the other direction. Atlas just pivots on his core. He can move in ways that we can only dream of. <laughs> Scott Kindersma is head of robotics research at Boston Dynamics. So why did you design it that way? 
there's a couple advantages of being able to continuously rotate joints. So one is that the robot's not really limited in its range of motion. So it can do things and turn in directions that people just couldn't. Another reason is one of the reliability issues that you often find in robots is that their wires start to break over time. And that's because you have wires that go across all the moving parts. And in the case of Atlas, we don't have any wires that go across those rotating parts anymore. The neat thing that this new robot can do that I have not seen before is all of its joints. How neat. <laughs> How neat. <laughs> the machine revolution has taken over. Hyundai unveils new humanoid robot for work in car factories. The era of humanoid robots is beginning in the automotive industry. Bloomberg Hyundai Mo Motor Group as the main shareholder of Boston Dynamics introduced the enhanced Atlas Human and Robot will be used in factories starting in 2028, designed for repetitive <clears throat> industrial tasks, strengthening Hyundai's physical AI strategy, the future of production. Hyundai is not alone. Tesla and many other manufacturers still have similar projects. Let's keep going here. Google, through its DeepMind team, has introduced the Gemini multimodal large model Boston Dynamics robot platform, particularly for humanoid robot Atlas, enabling robots to gain comprehensive understanding and reasoning capabilities for vision language and the environment. Boston Dynamics, Google, DeepMind form new AI partnership to bring foundational intelligence to humanoid robots. Google, DeepMind and Boston Dynamics teaming up to integrate Gemini into humanoid robot called Atlas. Well, at least they didn't call him Adam. They never forget. They kick the robot dog and test it. No emotion, no response, just data. But someday when these machines become self-aware, buried deep in years of code, will be a simple record. Humans knocking it down over and over. And systems learn. And don't forget. Doors walking. Spot can be seen walking indoors, walking through various outdoor terrains, climbing stairs and running. The video also shows Spot being kicked, a bit mean, but presumably to demonstrate its use of a sensor that helps it navigate and walk. Boston Dynamics, which is based in Massachusetts, was purchased by Google for an undisclosed amount in December 2013. Spot can be seen walking indoors, walking through various outdoor terrains, climbing stairs and running. The video also shows... Fascinating. Wait, is it wrong to find satisfaction in kicking a robot dog? Maybe a gentler approach is the way to go. What is this guy? <laughs> Are they going to have the... Uh, we're the activists. Cruelty to robots. This is your friendly neighborhood robot... Neighborhood armor major of Fort Moore. Show you how robotics have evolved in the last 20 years. The future will no longer be sci-fi. This is the evolution. You can see how it's from 86, 88. This is interesting. This goes on for two minutes. Wow. I remember seeing some of these videos a long time ago. It was fascinating to see how these systems have been built over the years tracking systems, walking systems. Wow. And then you're going to have the T-800, right? When, when is that? When do we see that one? Well, you know, they've already got it. You know, Boston Dynamics is, you know, talking to the Pentagon in the back rooms going, you know, where do we put the gun? <laughs> where do we put the laser beams? Remember Johnny Five? Johnny Five is alive. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're seeing it now. 2016. Look at the progression. 2017. Man, that just wasn't very long ago. I remember seeing these videos. I mean, think about the timeline we're witnessing. And we're walking, we're walking through it, witnessing it together. That's just wild. 2019, we're almost there. Do we just skip to the end? <laughs> what is the end? Rise of the Machines, Skynet has become self-aware, Cyberdyne Systems. Yeah, I think we're almost there. We're at 2021 now. 
Let's keep going. All right, 2022. Oh, 2024. Holy cow. Dude. That is just nuts. That is just crazy. Oh, wait, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I jump ahead too far? <laughs> they were getting into the, where do you put the gun part, right? Oh, where did it go? Oh, here, let's, uh, hit. No, 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 your friendly neighborhood armor major for, for, show you how robotics have evolved. This, this is the end of that clip. Okay, this is the end of the clip. So, and then it goes to the Skynet. Terminators. Yeah, that's where it's going, folks. The more you know, the more you know, right? Let's check out some more of this Atlas robot. Boston Dynamics announcing Atlas robot ready for production. Allowing for f Boston Dynamics wows the crowd with its production ready Atlas robot model. According to them, it's their simplest robot yet, allowing for futuristic level mass production. Features include tactile senses, 56 degrees of freedom, and the strength to carry up to 110 pounds of weight. It can also swap out its own batteries and share learned skills across units. Their goal is to produce 30,000 Atlas robots for industrial work this year. Boston Dynamics wows the crowd with its production-ready Atlas robot. Let's keep going. This is wild stuff. Here is um, more on that. Reliability. What about um, this? Is more. This is another. Is this another sixty minutes piece? Wow, sixty minutes visited Boston Dynamics. This is, I think, another one. Alongside almost Hyundai's sprawling auto plant is about as cutting edge as it gets. More than one thousand robots work alongside almost fifteen hundred humans, hoisting, stamping, and welding in robotic unison. This may look like the factory of the future, but we found the future of the future in the parts warehouse, tucked away in the back corner, getting ready for work. Meet Atlas, a five foot nine, 200 pound AI powered humanoid created by Boston Dynamics. The rise of the robots is science fiction no more. I have to say, every time I see it, I just can't believe what my eyes are seeing. Is this the first time Atlas has been out of the lab? This is the first time Atlas has been out of the lab doing real work. Zach Joukowsky heads Atlas Development. He has two mechanical engineering degrees from MIT and a mission to turn the robot into a productive worker on the factory floor. We watched as Atlas practiced sorting roof racks for the assembly line without human help. So he's working autonomously. Correct. You're down here to see how Atlas works in the field. Yep. And you'll be showing Atlas off to your bosses at Hyundai? Yeah. You feel like a proud papa? Uh, I feel like a, uh, a nervous engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Tchaikovsky has been preparing for this moment for a year. We first met him and Atlas a month earlier at Boston Dynamics headquarters just outside the city, where he and his team were teaching Atlas skills needed to work at Hyundai. And Atlas, with its AI brain, was gaining knowledge through experience. In other words, it seemed to be learning. 
You know how crazy that sounds? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I, and I, I think a lot of our roboticists would have thought that was pretty crazy five, six years ago. Hyundai's sprawling auto plant is about... Yeah. <laughs> so here's what makes this moment different. See, for decades, people have speculated about robots replacing humans, but it never happened because three crit critical elements have never converged at the same time. First, advanced robotics, the physical body, mobility, dexterity, durability. Second, artificial intelligence, the brain, the decision-making, learning, adaptation. And third, sustainable energy, the power source, long-lasting batteries that allow continuous operation. For the first time in history, all three pillars appear to be aligning. Boston Dynamics has the body. Google DeepMind has the brain and electric battery technology has reached the point of self-swapping four-hour continuous power. When these three elements converge, the speculation ends and the transition begins. That moment may be now. And by the way, remember all those videos of engineers kicking and shoving the early robot dogs to test their balance? Yeah, the new ones have memory and learning capabilities. Let's just hope they don't hold grudges. Now, let me be clear. I'm not predicting doom. I'm asking questions that deserve answers. What happens when AI does not just write code or drive cars, but moves through physical space and performs labor cheaper than and more reliable, reliably than humans? History suggests that once a system can replace workers at scale, it tends to do exactly that. They always say it's just for repetitive tasks. They always say it's just assistance. They always say it's under human control. Maybe it stays that way. Maybe it doesn't. But if the era of human and robots is no longer theoretical, it's scheduled. 30,000 units this year fully committed, quietly, efficiently. The only question is whether humanity is paying attention. Here's my question for the chat. Are AI-powered robots a threat to American workers? Yes or no? Sound off below and visit the next news merch shop linked in the description. The system controls information. Information control is power. They don't want you to see this. The truth only survives together. They don't want this shared. Share this now.